I got three kids and I learn so much every day. I'm trying to trying to figure out how to parent well. It's not easy, as you all know. And as you see your kids wrestle with challenges, and then I take phone calls every day from you all, and I see people wrestling with challenges. And I started thinking about this, the three-letter word that we need to remove from our thinking, thus removing it from our language, is not. N-O-T, not. And it's very simple. If we focus on things that we can do, if we focus on things that we can learn, if we focus on the people we can connect with, what a difference that makes, Joe. Now, let me give you the opposite. Let's ter- let's take that dirty little word, N-O-T, and put it in those same sentences. If I focus on the things I cannot do, or I focus on the things I cannot learn, or I focus on the people that I cannot connect with, where does that put me? It puts me in a really frustrating place. Because if I'm always just going, I cannot do that, I cannot learn this, I cannot connect with this person, and I'm cannot, 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 guess what? You won't, because that's all you're focusing on. And you'll see the knots everywhere. So by removing the, the, literally the knot from the word can, get the cannot out of your thinking. Here's why. I'm not saying that there are things that you cannot do, cannot learn, people you can't. Yes, that's true. I cannot, Joe, learn algebra. Really? No. Not effectively. You know why? Why? I don't have the mathematical talent. I'm very limited. Um, I'm being silly with that one. I could probably get a C in algebra. I have to work way too hard, but I cannot be a physicist. I cannot be a heart surgeon. I cannot be a brain surgeon. I cannot fix my own car. You know this. That's my job. According to Joe, I cannot operate a chainsaw. More on that in a moment. But. These are all facts, Joe, but do I need to focus on any of those things? No. Well, first of all, because they're true, I don't need to focus on them. I need to be focusing on what I can do, what I can learn. I can learn to write better. I can learn to speak better. I can connect with certain people that can advance my mission. That's the thought. Remove the word not. Get cannot. You start to have the cannots go, okay, great. That's right. That's the truth. So I don't need to focus on that. I need to focus on what I can do. Really, really important. Now, I got to close the loop on the chainsaw story. So I I had a dead tree in my backyard. Uh, Bought a house in June, moved in, and I just haven't gotten around to it. I don't own a chainsaw. Probably a good reason why I don't own a chainsaw. I don't need to cut a lot of things down with a chainsaw, so it's really not a purchase I need. But in this situation, I need a chainsaw. Well, Joe is a guy who's, he's a gearhead. He loves engines, all that kind of stuff. Joe uh, has this knack of people giving him chainsaws that are largely okay. They need a little bit of love, and so he takes them. So he tells me this one day, sometime between when I moved in the summer and last weekend. I'm down to three, by the way. Oh, you're down to three chainsaws because every man needs three chainsaws. So I say to Joe, hey, I I, uh, need to borrow one of your chainsaws. He gives me this look. Like he's my dad all of a sudden. Basically comes out and says, I'll come over and cut the tree down. It's not a big tree. It won't take long. I'll come do it. So he did. Thank you, Joe. I'm looking after you. But I watched what you did. And for the record, while chainsaw is not a natural talent that I have, I do believe that I could have learned how to do it. I believe I could have done it safely. You, on the other hand, do not think so. And I've not taken it personally, but that those are the facts. So thank you, Joe, for cutting down the tree. The point is, apparently, I cannot operate a chainsaw effectively and safely, so I've learned to accept that. And so thankfully, Joe came by and did it.